morning, we are the group number three and our project is the design and study of the economic feasibility of a sulfuric acid production plant to be installed in Ecuador. My name is Daniela Moreno. Next. The design has been developed beginning with the choosing of a strategic location. It is necessary to mobilize the raw materials and the staff required. The necessary equipment with its characteristics, the risks that involves the process to mitigate it and the economic analysis implement and 12 years of operation. Our project requires an investment of 10.39 million of dollars, a net present value of 8.21 million, an internal rate of returns of 25.22% and a payback of three years. More information about these values, it will be given in the presentation. The model is represented by a process flow diagrams with the raw materials, equipment and streams. The property of the raw material is really important to determine the thermodynamic models based on the tree of decision. Simulation by PRO2 with the correct operational conditions to obtain mass and energy balance, economic analysis by cut cost to obtain direct, indirect, manufacturing and utility costs, and also a cash flow to analyze the rentability of the project. Finally, safety considerations and what if and hazard method. Next. Sulfuric acid is one of the most important chemicals in the world. From 1990 to 2013, the production rose over the 60% per year. It has a range of applications like in phosphate fertilizers, papers and detergents. In Ecuador, our country, in the, 20, in the 2010, it is considered in the 10 most relevant in organic chemicals imports and, it, and in the 10th activity that causes more damage to the environment. For that reason, it's important to achieve some challenge like reduce the dioxide sulfur emissions and uh, improve in the energy efficiency. Hello, my name is Nelson Castro and I'm going to talk about plant location. First of all, the map view. You can see that our location is on Guayaquil outskirts nearby Dalle City. And the coordinates are the following ones. So what are the advantages of this location? So first of all, it is located in a well-known industrial area. It's not closer to any big residential area. And if we need some chemicals, the factories nearby our, our industry can provide to us. Uh, even so that the principal source of the sulfur, the refinery from, from Esmeraldas is pretty far away, uh, Guayaquil has an advantage that is the principal port of Ecuador, so the sulfur can be shipped as solid and be transported to the port. So next, I'm going to talk about the process description. So the process is divided into four steps. The first step is the pretreatment. Air and sulfur are inputted to the process. Air is dry in a drying tower and sulfur is preheated and melted. Sulfur conversion. In the phosphor conversion, sulfur is converted to sulfur dioxide and next is converted to three sulfur dioxide by using four content bags that has intermediate heat exchanger. Finally, we have the reactive absorption that is carried out in a absorption tower. In this process, water is inputted and it has to be mentioned that the final product is the desired 96% sulfuric acid. So the basic uh, raw materials are air, sulfur and water. These are the recycling streams and these are the product streams. So there are two waste materials that gases and ashes and sulfuric acid. So for the simulation the electrolyte NRTL was used. It was decided using the decision tree as you can see in the slide. And this is the simulation. There are some difference between the PUSD and the simulations. And basically there are the following ones. Some equipment were eliminated, the pumps or the compressor, for example. 
assertion process was simulated using an assertion tray tower, but not a packed tower and a conversion reactor next to the tower. And finally, recycling stream coming out from the drying tower was not considered. Also, the drying tower was also simulated using a tray column, but not a pad column. Hello, my name is Fabiola Gutierrez. Regarding to the cost of the plant, values were obtained from cap cost. The cost of the capital expenditures involved the equipment cost, which is about $2 million, and contingency, honorary, and auxiliary cost. That means that the total gas group cost is $8,500,000. On the other hand, the operational expenditures involved the direct manufacturing cost, fixed manufacturing cost, and general cost. Direct costs considered getting raw materials, utilities, operating labor that takes in account the actual basic salary in Ecuador, supervisory staff, operating supplies, reparation and maintenance. Fixed manufacturing costs takes in consideration taxation rate, depreciation of 10% and ancillary cost. For the last, general costs involve administration and distribution and sales. That means that the total operating cost is about $6 million, which is way bigger than the capital expenditures. Next. Specifically about the cost of the equipment, we can see that the major influence falls on the foreigners, representing the 46% of the total cost. So, considering the cost of the land where the plant will be located and the working capital, the capital investment is about $10 million. Regarding the economic analysis, next. Considering the half of the investment is obtained through an angel investor and the other half through a bank loan, the present net value, if we take in account the depreciation of money, is about $8 million. The rate of return on investment is 25.22% and the payback period is for three years. In total, with a production of about 48,000 tons per year of 96% sulfuric, uh, revenue from sales is about $10,800,000. As we can see in the cash flow diagram, for the first two years, we are going to be losing money because that is our period of construction. Then, fortunately, we start to recover from there, and in three years, we recover our investment and start having earnings. So in 12 years, we we'll reach our $8.21 million. Next. Now, another important thing to understand is the role of the sulfuric acid in Ecuador. As you can see in the diagram on the left, there are different areas of productivity that are related to sulfuric acid. For example, plastics, Plásticos Ecuatorianos, SA, including products proquilares in fertilizer, quimasa in petroleum, Petroecuador. According to the World Page Observatory of Economic Complexity, in 2015, Ecuador exported about $14,000 of sulfuric acid, mostly to Sudan. Actually, we're located 82nd in the world rank of exports. About the imports, in 2018, Ecuador imported $424,000 of sulfuric acid, mainly from Colombia, and the tariffs were about 5%. Additionally, in the bar graph below, we can see that there has been a decrease in the exports of this commodity along the time. Hence, a good possibility to design a sulfuric acid plant to help to cover the demand for sulfuric acid in the Ecuadorian industries. Next. My name is Jimena Orellana and I'm going to talk about process safety. Sulfuric acid is a dangerous and corrosive chemical that involves health and environmental hazards if the right safety measures are not applied. The best way to achieve a safe production process is by identifying the potential dangers or hazards utilizing methods like HAZOP, what if, or others. Safety in a chemical plant can be accomplished with the help and cooperation of every worker. And additionally, the safety measures improve the performance of not only the plant, but also of the employees. Next. As for the safety process considerations, always start with a quick checkup before performing any activity. The common safety equipment required are safety glasses, face shields, hard hats, gloves, steel safety toe boots, and respirator or mask. Also check technical information to determine the appropriate equipment needed 
And finally, some special features considered for the plant are explosion proof features, electrical fixtures, and adequate system ventilation, grounding system in all electrical devices, fire alarms, fire extinguishers, and a panic button. Next. The first method considered for identifying hazard is the what if which gave us a list of possible incidents in the process. Also, it is show the consequences of each of them, safety measures to reduce or eliminate the risk and recommendations. Next. Another method is the HACCP. In this part, some equipment and accessories that generally present deviations from normal operating parameters were considered like heat exchanger, pipes, furnace, dryer, and contact towers. Next. As for the conclusions, the objective was to determine the viability of the project and this was confirmed due to the internal rate of return, the net present value and the payback of three years. The project requires an investment of 10.39 million. However, this amount will be recovered in a time approximately of three years. Besides, it will profit the company with an amount of 10.8 million approximately per year after the sixth year, a value higher than the initial inversion. Furthermore, some safety caution measures were considered in the development of the design of the plant to mitigate the risk. Next. Finally, the recommendations are use a modular simulator that has a better database of components and a wider catalog of equipment. Search for base equipment prices within the network on websites such as Alibaba to compare to those offered by Capcost. Also, explore the possibility of adding another tower of absorption to see if the mass percentage of the sulfuric acid could be improved. Next. This is the bibliography used for the project. Next. And lastly, thank you for your attention.